you know what? I was thinking about it today. And you can correct me if I'm wrong, and I dare say a lot of people who watch videos where they're talking about Infinite Warfare or Advanced Warfare before that came out, or Black Ops 3 before that came out, or Ghosts before that came out, people go on there and win. And a commentator says, oh, you know, I think that it might be okay that they dive on them like wolves onto a, onto a deer, ripping it to shreds, saying, no, it won't be good. It won't be good. You're wrong. You're going to buy the game regardless. And you just let us all down. You've ruined Christmas. You've got and ruined Christmas, you pathetic person. How dare you? Um, when's your next upload, by the way? Are you going to upload, upload more COD? <laughs> um, no, realistically, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about Infinite Warfare and compare it to Black Ops 3 and compare why I think that Infinity Ward are actually going to make a better game, even though it's set very much in the future and it's space warfare and all the rest of it, why I think the game will capture people's imagination a little bit more keep people's attention straight and not waving off to anything else and you know keep them hungry for more when they put their controller down and turn it off and go to sleep they're lying there thinking oh, God, i can't wait to just have one more game now just turn the light back on and have one more game and to be honest with you i think it leaves everything down to one very small basic element that is going to make everybody flood back to that game that i think it, I think people like, you know, those good people at Infinity Ward, I think it makes them edge forward in the stakes of being the better developers than Treyarch. And that is just basic, basic connection. Now, look at Call of Duty Ghost. Call of Duty Ghost was not really a bad game. There was, there was things in there that weren't right. You know, the maps may have been a little bit too big and a little bit... Um, badly designed for what the game was you know I think of maps like Stonehaven that map was so wrong so wrong on every single level it was just it just didn't work for me but um there were some maps in there that were amazing there were some maps that were so fun I can't think of them off the top of my head but there's that one with the collapsed car park Call of Duty Ghost was not a bad game it just had a few um, quite sort of impacting design flaws as far as I'm concerned there was a few things in there that if they would have thought a little bit more about and tweaked or maybe during the whole time of its <laughs> of its sort of duration if the developers would have given a shit and not just completely sort of signed off their Twitter accounts unbelievable the way the way they went about it the way they went about treating us on Call of Duty goes Tina Pelosius or whatever her name was it was uh, it was quite shocking they went about it all the wrong way and they basically hid underneath a rock and never came out to play so any questions were left unanswered and it just didn't seem like there was many nerfs buffs or fixes but if they would have paid a little bit more attention and employed those, um, you know, employed those fixes in there, such as the big maps, you know, maybe closed areas of the maps off to make them a little bit smaller and added some things in there. You know, they can do these kind of things. If you think about Modern Warfare 2 and Favela, was it Favela where there was that, that picture in the toilet of the Indian whatever it was there was some kind of Indian thing in the toilet some kind of picture and it offended a lot of Muslims sorry there was some kind of Pakistani picture maybe I don't know but whatever it was it offended Muslims because this certain writing I think it was God is love God is great or something like that to be in a toilet in a place that was unclean was offensive so they took it out they removed it from the game and it didn't take them very long so they can make these little alterations to maps to improve them and I think that's maybe what they should have done with Call of Duty Ghost but there was a lot of other things as well that I didn't like personally and I know a lot of other people didn't like some people weren't bothered about thermal M27s or thermal on this or thermal on that or the quick scoping or you know the hit detection stuff like that some people really were some people were genuinely bothered about that kind of stuff so if they would have employed a little bit more balance I think that game could have gone a hell of a long way but uh, the problem was a lot of people just felt like they didn't give a shit however saying that the one thing I think that you know Infinity Ward sort of tipped the scales in their favor a lot more than what Treyarch do is the playability of their games Whenever I've played an Infinity Ward game, it always feels to me as if the connection and the balance has always been a lot better. You know, the next-gen consoles, whatever those servers were that we played on, on the PS4 and on the Xbox One, I've played on every single console. I've played Call of Duty Ghosts, and it plays bloody well on all of them. There's not one console that I've played where I think this plays absolutely hideously. It has to be better than this. 
And I think that's where Infinity Ward could win the war of um, gaming and almost get people's attention back a little bit. Yes, I know it's going to be futuristic. There's going to be some crazy stuff in there. I dare say that Scorpion thing from a... Uh, <laughs> from Mortal Kombat's going to be in there. Get over here! And you drag them towards you and snap the neck. That probably is going to be in there somewhere. And I think there are going to be specialists and there's going to be things that are going to be pretty shit about it. But if the playability is there and if people are jumping through the air and it doesn't feel like they're in one place at one moment and all of a sudden they teleport towards yourself at about 20 frames a second or 75 frames a second to the point where your you know your television screen just can't handle it and your brain and your eyes do not work in coinciding with each other then i think the game will actually be okay Treyarch are very well known for making lag infused games look at black ops the first black ops it was as laggy as fuck it earned very rightly the name lag ops Black Ops 2 was exactly the same. Sometimes you would have an experience on that game that would be fantastic. But then you think about the blob shots, you know, people drop shotting down. How quick did people hit that deck? Whenever anybody drop shotted, it was super fast. However, when you watch the kill cam or when you did it yourself, it wasn't that fast. It was a very slow process. So from what you saw from your perspective and what the player saw from their perspective, was very different and that to me is just a really badly flawed design game when it comes to the very important elements of things like connection and also broken camera angles think how many times people have portrayed these things and said look at me walking through this room there isn't a guy there i've done it myself i've uploaded so many videos of me walking through a room and saying look i didn't even see this chap and uh, in the kill cam he's right in front of me so Treyarch are terrible for this, and I think their games need a lot of work when it comes to connection. But we don't know. This is just speculation. I'm just spitballing and making conversation with you. Give me your feedback. Tell me what you think. Do you think Infinity Ward games are a lot better when it comes to connection, or do you think Treyarch have that edge and they make the better games because theirs is just so well connected and you are one of these people that uploads 20 fucking nuclears a day? Thanks very much for watching, guys. Much love. Apocalypse done.